Hey everybody, um, this is morning. I just thought about different clients and patients that I see. And it's a common theme, it really is. It's a common theme that people experience abuse. And this abuse is traumatic. I mean, you could essentially say they're synonymous. And so this week, I'm gonna be posting a video um, about different types of abuse. And today I want to start off talking about emotional abuse. I want to start off with emotional abuse because it is one of the most discredited types of abuse. And when I say discredited, it's like if you explain, uh, a person explains what their experience is, it's looked at like it's really nothing, um, like it's not a big deal. And so um, emotional abuse would be one where you you and your partner you have an argument and your partner has to win every argument um you know it's always about right or wrong and you're always the one that's wrong um no matter what and you're left uh, you're left you leave that encounter uh feeling less than feeling confused kind of having this intuition that i know i'm right but am i really right like questioning your sanity um it deals with making you feel that anything that you do is not right um questioning your every move um putting types of restraints on you as far as finances um making you make up uh for an argument with sex um even if you don't feel like having sex um it's an emotional isolation is what emotional abuse is, is the most concise way to say it. It's a way to make you feel like your feelings are insignificant and that the way that you're feeling is not real. And I think, in my opinion, it is the most toxic forms of abuse out of all of them. Yes, sexual abuse and physical abuse is bad. I'm not saying it's not. But they're tangible to people. They can feel it. They can actually see it. And so it can be validated for some. But emotional abuse, it's almost like it's non-existent. Especially when you're talking to the abuser or other abusive people. So um, just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, if you're in a relationship and you leave an argument, for example, and every argument you leave feeling less than you leave feeling misunderstood you leave feeling as if you're crazy um then you likely are experiencing emotional abuse and that doesn't it's not just in partner relationships it could be in family relationships etc so stay tuned for the rest of this week on what's in your mental wallet and uh you guys have a great day